So you're thinking about publishing a picture book, but you're not quite sure where to find a good illustrator. Well, today is part one of a series I'm doing where you are going to help me choose the illustrator for my next picture book. Today, I'm going to give you some tips for finding a good illustrator and take you along with me as I navigate one of my favorite author resources, Fiverr. Yeah, that's right, Fiverr, to find a few illustrators to choose from. Now, one of the biggest suggestions that I give authors when it comes to finding a great illustrator is to ask other authors. And in a way, that's kind of what we're doing here. I'm going to pick three or four illustrators and ask them to do a sample illustration for my new book. I'm going to give them the specs, and then in the next video, you're going to see the results, and you're going to help me decide which illustrator I'm going to hire to illustrate the entire children's book. Now, the specs I have for my sample page are pretty straightforward. I want one page full color with a front yard scene and I want four specific characters. Now, because we're going to be doing research to find the right three or four illustrators, this video is going to be a little bit longer than normal. But don't worry, I will include timestamps down in the description just in case you want to skip to a certain section. With that, let's get started. Well, here we are on Fiverr.com. Now, let's try to find some really great illustrators that we can look into to get our illustrations for our book. So we're just going to go to find services. Now this isn't going to be a full tutorial on how to use Fiverr. Really just want to show you how to reach out to some illustrators and get that children's book illustrated. So we can go into find services and I'm just going to type in there you go, illustrations, children's book, plug it away. As you can see, there's just a huge array of options. They have different levels of sellers. They start off as a new seller, then they move on to a level one, a level two. They can be a top rated seller or the best of the best are actually called Fiverr pros. And a Fiverr pro is someone that Fiverr themselves have actually vetted and they recommend. So again, these are just the starting prices. Each one's going to have their own different package options. So the first thing I look for when I try to find an illustrator is I look at the samples that they have and see if it's the type of art that I'm looking for in my book. So like this one right here, this looks good. You can click on these and, and get some additional images. The book that I'm doing actually has people as well as animals. So I want to make sure that the person can do those type of illustrations. So we're going to click in here just to see a little bit more. I mean, this is a little bit more cartoony than what I'm looking for, but it could work. Okay, they clearly can do animals. Let's see how they do on people. Let's see. Okay, that's a side view of some people. Okay, their people aren't too bad. They look pretty good, pretty good similar to what I'm looking for. So this person might be someone I would reach out to. They do have seven orders in queue, which tells me that they are getting work, which is good, but it also tells me that I'm probably gonna have to wait a little bit. So just want to keep that in mind based on your particular schedule. Five star ratings, 58 reviews, that's good. Let's look at their packages. So this is their basic for $25. It's a scene with one character, full body, no color. So it's basically a black and white. It's not what I'm looking for. I want to know how they shade. I want to know how the depth looks within the actual color. So let's check their standard. A scene with one character, full body, simple background, in color. Again, not really what I'm looking for. Let's see premium. Two to three characters with background in color. So this is what I'm looking for. $60 isn't too bad. And they're giving me the full source file, which is good because you want that full source file. I mean, not so much for your sample, but definitely for your final illustrations, you definitely want that source sample in case you need to go back and make any changes. This one, I'm gonna write down as someone that I might reach out to. So we're gonna go back to the other, and I'm actually gonna leave this tab open because again, it's somebody I might be interested in. So I'm gonna flip over to the next one, and we're just gonna look. Okay, this is definitely somebody that I would be interested in. Um, 
because, I mean, I can see just from this one illustration that they can do animals, they can do people. Let's see. It's the art type that I'm actually looking for. So the only thing that worries me is the number of orders they have in queue. Um, I mean, they've got a great rating, huge number of reviews. Again, it's just this 14 orders in queue that worries me. So what I'll do is, and I do this for everybody before I actually hire them, is I actually scroll down and I click the contact me and it pulls up uh, a message window that's within the Fiverr platform and I tell them what I'm looking for and I just find out what kind of timing that I can expect from them. So that will let me know if it's somebody that I, I can work with on this particular project. Now, regardless of what their timing looks like on this project, I will definitely write this person down for future projects because the work that they do from what I can see is pretty stellar. Okay, so let's move on. Ooh, I really like this one. Hold on, let me click on this. Okay, so I like how in this picture I can tell that not only can they do people, but the different emotions that they can do. It's actually very difficult to convey emotions in a children's book well. So if you can find somebody that can do that, that's great. They can do animals, that's clear. Um, I love the, the smile on that young lady down at the bottom. Okay, definitely... Yeah, definitely going to reach out to this person. They do have 15 orders in queue. Again, that worries me, but... Let's see what their packages look like. One black and white, that's not going to work. We'll illustrate two story pages for you within six days. And this tells you that two figures. So I'm not really, I mean, six days is kind of pushing it. I really don't want something that can take that long. But if the illustrations are worth, worth it, then I, I'll wait. Um, but what concerns me is the two figures. Because obviously, like I said, mine needs to have four. Let's see what's over here. Uh, 10 colorful story pages with three figures each um, and one thing to note is they don't give you the source file even on their highest level so what I will do is I will definitely reach out to this person and I'm gonna ask them uh, I'm gonna tell them what I'm looking for and uh, we'll at the end of this video I will do a, a quick overview of what I actually ask for but um, I will also make sure that I find out if I hired them for the full project, what it would cost for the source files. And usually each of these sellers will have, when you order from them, will have add-ons that you can do. So the source file might already be listed as an add-on. Um, but yeah, I, I love the people that she does. Well, I say she, I don't know. It could be a guy. Um, well, let's see. Let's see if there's an illustration. Uh, image nope there's not okay so I love the animals that they do absolutely love the animals um, and the people look really good as well so yeah yeah I'll definitely definitely reach out to this person see if we can find a couple more because I want to do a couple different price points as well um, another thing I'm gonna have to reach out to that particular one is because they didn't have anything that really covered what I needed I am gonna have to uh, get a quote specifically for that as you can see I'm literally just looking at their illustrations that they have as their samples to begin with I'm looking to see if it's the right type of illustration that I'm looking for like as you can see this one I mean these are great but it's they're using the um, like the the washed colors it's not what I'm looking for um, I'm looking for something vibrant and like this is more faded which again is it, it, there's nothing wrong with it it's just not the style that I'm looking for for this particular book I mean as you can see there's over 10 pages that you can go through okay so I've actually spent actually quite a few hours going through these and uh, I wanted to show you the four that I think I'm gonna go with as well as a few runner-ups and explain why so let's start with the runner-ups so here we go and I'll include a link to them down in the show notes as well. So this one is a level one seller, I believe. Um, 
and they they have eight reviews five stars so far the main reason why I didn't choose them is their illustrations are great they're just not the style that I'm looking for um, as you can see this one uh, is an example of one of their books and I while I do have some children's books that I've planned that will definitely utilize this type of art style it's not what I'm looking for in this particular book the pricing that they have available is very reasonable one illustration with one character and an object uh, it can they're also willing to do a book cover for 20 bucks and they allow for four revisions in three days that is a stellar deal so if this is something that you might be interested in check out that link again they're standard two to three pages two characters simple backgrounds yeah and they give you the source files for 30 bucks and they allow for six revisions again great deal and even their most expensive one which is what they call professional four characters 10 pages detailed background and objects also the cover for the book they'll get it to you in nine days unlimited revisions which is just crazy for 45 bucks so this is definitely someone that I would consider using for uh, if nothing else for a good book, children's book cover okay so that again is one of the runner-ups um, this one oh my gosh the illustrations are great um, again it's just not the art style like this is more of a comic book type art style that they're really good at uh, but I mean the detail the uh, I mean they even give you an example of the pricing I mean you can't go wrong with that it's just amazing amazingly beautiful again just not the art style I'm looking for on this particular book um, this is actually a top rated seller it's vetted by Fiverr and they've completed at least a hundred orders on time with a minimum of a 4.7 rating in order to be considered a top rated seller again link will be down in the description below let's see another runner-up I mean it was just so hard to decide honestly uh, cute kids books illustrations for ten dollars I mean again it's just not the art style I'm looking for for this book but I mean they do people great I mean look at the emotion and the drastic difference in emotions between the two I mean you got a smile and then a sad face with tears I mean uh, they, they do a great job Here, okay I gotta show this flowing hair that is so hard to do in illustrations and again they do a great job but I, it's just again not the particular art style that I'm looking for um, also this particular person um, is very clear and this really made me smile an illustrator and a mommy so uh, yeah so I love that so again links down in the description below if you're interested in using this person and then this is the last of the runner-ups this one was really hard to decide um, because it's probably out of the ones that I didn't choose it's probably the closest to what I'm looking for uh, but it's still it's it's a little bit off it's the um, the coloring schemes and more more of that pastel color that's not really what I'm looking for um, I'm looking for something that's a little less cartoony but again amazing amazing illustrations this is actually a little bit more of what I'm looking for but I just don't have enough of a sample of this type of illustrations that they've done to to see if it's really what I'm looking for and the other four that I picked were more spot-on so that's the only reason why I didn't pick this particular person and they are a level 2 seller uh, you can hover over there and I'll tell you completed at least 50 orders on time with a minimum of 4.7 rating that's it for the runner-ups let's go to the four that I chose this one the very first illustration they have just blew me out of the water already um, it is a little bit cartoony but when you go a little bit further in you see that they do different types this right here is the exact type of illustration style that I'm looking for and the fact that they can do animals this well really drew my attention right off the bat they're also a top rated seller which again means that they've done at least a hundred orders on time with a minimum of 4.7 rating they've already been vetted by Fiverr so I want to show you some of the uh, people that they do I mean it showed some kids right there but that's not really close up enough 
yeah, like, I mean, this is exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm super excited to reach out to this particular. Now, they do have three orders in queue, which tells me I may have to wait a little while. But again, I'm just asking for one page right now. So I'm willing to, to take that chance. Oh, look at that. Oh, great. And this also shows me how they do objects because some of the illustrations that are in the final book are going to be indoors. So I want to make sure that, yeah, great, they can do people and they can do animals, but if they can't do a table right, then it's just going to look off. So then I went over to their different gigs and let's see if we can find one that fits. Um, multiple characters, high quality with a background, four days, three revisions. So I'll probably go with this deal, the premium. Um, they don't really say how many is multiple. So again, in my email to them, I will uh, specify exactly what I'm looking for. All right, so that is that one. So here's the next one. Again, another level two. Not the style I'm looking for. It's, it's not exactly what I'm looking for, but the fact that they can do this amount of shading and different colors within this art style, it did draw my attention. So I decided that I was going to give them a shot. This is actually a, a Fiverr Pro, which it doesn't say it on it, but it said it when I actually clicked on the first page. And Fiverr Pros, honestly, they've been vetted by Fiverr. They're the top that you're going to get, and so they are going to be pricier. Let's see if the, this is Art Line. That's Again, that's not what I'm looking for. Um, that's $100 right there. Standard is $150. That's flat. This is an example. I like how they show the examples of what each style is. Let's see, premium, there's flat, which basically means uh, more of a cartoon, not really much depth to it. Um, and then premium is, I guess they don't show, that's just the rest of them. Extremely detailed illustrations with up to seven characters, beautiful background. One thing I am going to ask them is this says five figures, but this says seven characters. So I'll have to clarify with them and see what their price is going to be. So I don't see anything that really jumps out as exactly what I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to reach out to them and give them my specs and I'll find out how much they're going to charge and what they think the turnaround time will be. And I will cover all of the costs at the end of this particular video. Moving on to the next one. This one, what I'll tell you what drew me to this one in particular is this character. This character is almost spot on one of the characters in my book. And the fact that they can show that kind of emotion already with the very first illustration I'm looking at, extremely excited. Not excited about 15 orders in queue, but we'll see. Let's see how they do. And they do animals amazingly. So, yeah, this is the one I looked at earlier. And again, just it, it was really that one character that really just drew me because, like I said, it, it's literally the the main one of the main characters in my book. It it's it's her. So again, another level two seller. You want also want to keep in mind that just because someone might be a new seller or a level one seller, that doesn't mean that they're lower quality. It just means that they might be just newer to the platform. So again, you definitely want to read. A little bit about them here in the about the gigs learn a little bit more about the seller they tell you down here and really get a good feeling for what their story is um, and then again I always suggest getting one sample page before you hire somebody to do your entire book and then the last one is right here Milan designs I, there's no clue right here if they can do animals. They absolutely can do animals. Not only can they do animals, but they can do animals with emotion, which is very difficult to do. But I also wanted to see how they can do people. Now, not to get much of a spoiler, but there's actually a dragon in my book. So the fact that they can do this dragon, really excited to see that. Um, I'll be honest, a little nervous about the people because I don't see a lot of images of people in the type of style that I'm looking for. So again, we're just going to have to wait and see how that sample page turns out. Um, and we're going to go with, see what their premium looks like, up to three characters. Again, this is going to be something that I'm going to have to talk about in my email to them because 
mine, I need four characters because I want to see a picture of the, there's basically like eight different characters in this book, but I want to see how they do with four specific characters because they're so different from each other that I want to make sure that they can do all of them well. And that will let me know that it's the right illustrator for me. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to write our message to each of these sellers. And I definitely tweak it for each individual seller. But overall, it's going to say, say about the same thing. And here it is right here. And I say, I'm looking for an illustrator for my newest children's book. I say something like that because I want to let them know newest implies that I already have children's books out there. So in their mindset, they're saying, okay, this is somebody who writes children's books. They're not just doing just a one-off. So I could get possible work in the future. So you always want to kind of start with that. That way they already have that mindset and might be willing to give you a little bit of a deal. To ensure that we're on the same page, I'm requesting a one-page illustration that would be similar to your, in this particular case, standard gig. So it's going to be obviously tailored to the different sellers based on which gig is the most similar to what you're looking for. However, I would need four characters and a front yard scene. How much would you charge for this? And then I also want to tell them that the characters will be in this particular book, a baby, the baby's mother, a dog, and a dragon. And obviously, like I said, there's going to be a lot more characters, but these are the ones that are the most extreme from one another. If you can do a baby well, doesn't mean you can do an adult well. So I want to make sure I, I cover both. Uh, doing a dog, obviously the animals with the hair and everything else, that's very difficult to do. And then a dragon is completely different. You know, a dragon is mythological. And so I want to see how they do it and how they do it in the style that I'm looking for, for this particular book. Every book I do doesn't necessarily have the same style, but this book I have in mind, um, I know exactly what style I'm looking for. Now, if you don't have a style that you're looking for, if you just, you don't visualize your book in illustration form, then you don't have to be as picky as I was. You still want to go through the images that they have, their, their portfolio, if you will, and get a feel for the type of quality they do. Read some of the reviews and things like that. But again, if you don't have a specific style in mind, it might not take you as long to find the particular illustrators that you want to give a test drive. So this is what I'm going to put in my particular message to each of these illustrators. So what I do is I always write it down in notepad. That way I can copy and paste it for each of the different sellers. And then I'm just going to go back to Fiverr, scroll down, click on contact me and literally just copy and paste that into the messenger. So I've reached out to the sellers that we talked about using the same message text that I showed you and I have received their quotes for sample illustrations. Here are what the quotes were. For Hamio Art, which was a Fiverr Pro, the quote was $100 with a turnaround time of five days. Anishra447 was a top rated seller with a quote of $40 and again a five day turnaround. Epic Graphics was one of the ones that we found really early on, was a level two seller. Their quote was $30 with still that same five days. And finally, Milan Designs, Another level two seller, their quote was $70 and that same consistent five day turnaround. That's $240 worth of sample images. I've accepted all of their offers. I gave them the exact specs that I wanted for my sample image, including the setting, descriptions of the characters, even using images to kind of help inspire them. I also told them the art style that I wanted and I provided an Amazon link to a book that displays the style I'm looking for. And finally, I gave them the page dimensions that I needed for that specific book, including margins. Because if I end up using this image in my book, I don't want to have to stretch it or shrink it. I want it to be spot on. Well, while we're waiting for those samples to come in, why don't we work on the rest of our book? Check out this playlist right here, where I walk you through the exact steps that I take when I create a children's book from scratch. Or you can check out this video that YouTube picked out just for you. I'll catch you in the next video, and remember to write right.